to Niger State, where the Minister for Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Beta Edu, has disclosed her ministry's plans to build new schools and low-cost homes for 11,000 out-of-school children and about 30,000 internally displaced persons in Niger State. Chanemi Bami brings us details. There has been a lingering humanitarian crisis in Niger State due to banditry activities that has forced hundreds of people out of their communities to seek refuge in temporary IDP camps. Nigeria's Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Better Edu, on a visit to a temporary IDP camp in Guadas Primary School, expressed worries over the continued closure of over 400 schools in the state as a result of insecurity in about 10 local government councils, which she said has forced 11,000 pupils and students out of their classrooms. She further disclosed her ministry's plans to build new schools and low-cost homes for 11,000 out-of-school children and 30,000 internally displaced persons within secured communities. I'm actually here on the request of the president, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, to ensure that we understand fully the humanitarian situation in Niger State and the level of poverty and what we can do in the immediate, short term, medium term and long term to really provide the right humanitarian response. We need to quickly intervene to see that first we can as much as possible collaborate with the security agencies to provide peace, adequate peace that will help them return back to where they came from. But in the meantime, provide resettlement cities for them, low-cost houses, very low-cost houses where they can move out of the classrooms and other places where they presently occupy to have a befitting place to put their heads. Wife of the Niger State Governor Fatima Umarubago commended the minister and President Tinubu for their interest in the humanitarian needs of the people of the state and Nigeria. Nobody deserves to be here. This is not a, a home to say, because a home is where you have your comfort, total comfort and total control. Um, these people need help. Help, help in the sense that um, we have to have a way of bringing an end to insecurity so that they can, no, no matter what we provide for them, it can just be a form of help to them, just to secure accommodation and all of a little comfort to them. The minister also disclosed that the ministry will be working with the Niger State Government and UNICEF to provide transit learning areas in the state as a stopgap measure to enable the affected pupils continue with their studies. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Mina.